Hello Armstrong patrons, it is I, Mr. Sorensen, coming to you with a very, very important announcement about some changes to the traffic flow during drop-off and pickup here at Neil Armstrong Academy. Um, I've been the principal here at Neil Armstrong for four years and we have had an increasing issue with the traffic flow problem with drop-off and pickup. Now it's not catastrophically bad. Um, we can generally clear the parking lot in about 14 minutes after school, but that's a little bit slower than we would like and it makes some of our patrons a little bit cranky and we would love to do something to address it. It is not an easy problem to fix, but we think we have a solution and we would like to try it out for the last week of school. And so there will be some changes to the flow of traffic for that last week of school and we want everybody to know what that is before time so that they're not surprised on the day. I have behind me uh, one of the original architect's renderings of uh, Armstrong long before it was built and uh, it basically shows the flow of our drop-off and pickup area. Now we're blessed with the largest drop-off and pickup area in the entire district and it's much larger than any of our surrounding schools. It has to be because we have a lot of students that are dropped off by car in the morning, but it is more than big enough for our needs. Where we have a problem is right here. And that causes almost all of our problems right at the main entrance. We have an area there that is marked by a red curb. And that red curb, just like any other red curb in traffic, means that you are not allowed to stop or park or wait or pick up and drop off in that red area. We've marked it with gigantic cones. We have put signs. We have had people out there. We've done everything that we can to encourage people not to stop at that red curb. And anybody should know not to stop there, but they continue to stop there and that backs up traffic quite badly onto the road and creates a major flow issue, which is a safety concern for both students and patrons. Additionally, uh, I think the reason why they're stopping there is so that they can go down this area here and that allows them to bypass the rest of the loop, thus saving them a couple of moments of time. Now, I understand the impulse to try and save a little bit of time. I'm a busy person myself. But the issue is that that creates a point of merge right here in this area. And that point of merge dramatically slows down all of the traffic going around the loop. So the patrons who are using the drop off and pickup loop as it was designed to be used are being massively inconvenienced by a few people who are cutting across that line to go through the parking lot. Now, uh, I, I know this is gonna make a few people really, really angry, but it's gonna make most of our patrons incredibly happy. We have come up with a temporary solution that we're gonna try out, and if it works out, we'll make it permanent. The plan is to place posts with chains here and here to block off the flow of traffic in that area. That ha makes it so that every patron must use the drop off and pick up loop the way it was designed. Nobody gets to cut through here. That has two advantages. Number one, it makes it so that there's no reason to stop at this red curve here so that that can flow nicely and so we can get good flow into the drop off and pick up area. And it also removes this merge point here, which makes the traffic flow through the loop go much, much faster. Patrons will still have access to the parking lot should they choose to park. They'll simply need to go all the way around to here and go into the parking lot at this place and then they can exit the parking lot at the point of merge up here at the top of the loop. So the parking lot will still be available and the chains will only be up to block off that area during morning pickup and during evening drop off. So it won't affect the normal use of our parking lot uh, during the non-busy times of the day. It's just during that morning pickup time and that afternoon drop-off time when the traffic is the heaviest. We just can't have people using that, that little side street because it causes a huge amount of congestion. So starting on Tuesday of next week and for those four days, we're gonna try this new traffic flow out. We wanted everybody to be aware of it in advance. Plan on going all the way around the loop and talk with your student where on the loop you are going to pick them up. The entire loop can be used for drop-off and pickups. So there's plenty of space. You just need to arrange with your student where you're going to meet them so that they know to walk over there. And it's a nice, safe place. They don't have to cross any streets to get there. They can walk all the way around on the sidewalk. So <clears throat> arrange with them where you're going to pick them up on the loop, and we'll make sure that that loop is flowing. I could really use some parent volunteers before and after school that week to help with just getting people used to the flow of that traffic 
And so if anybody would like to volunteer and come for a little while before school and a little while after school, I would welcome all the hands that I can get to help with this new parking endeavor. And the hope is we can find a nice uh, way to handle the traffic out there that is fast and convenient to everybody. The, the goal is to get the empty time of the parking lot in the afternoons down to 10 minutes. I would like it to, to be around 10 minutes to empty that. Right now it's 14. I think that's a completely reasonable goal. We have a large drop-off area. If we're flowing it correctly, um, everybody should be able to get through more smoothly. So we're going to give this a shot. Again, starting on Tuesday, um, the, the chains that we're putting up are temporary chains. If it doesn't work, we'll try and find another solution. Uh, but I suspect it will be very effective, and we're going to implement it starting on Tuesday.